Man started when I was 19 years old. Um, didn't really do much. Like, I managed to just kick ball. Nothing really going on in life. You get just like college and stuff like that. And then, yeah, man, I took like a, a liking to music, just watching bare American producers on internet, YouTube, and that, like, making beats and stuff like that. And then um, I just got fruity on like my laptop. I don't even know how I got it on my laptop, but I got fruity on my laptop and I just started experimenting and just like working on my sound from there, really. Yeah, my name's Quincy, music producer from Northwest London. Now, ah, what made me take it seriously was just seeing people's reactions to man's music. Like, not even like people that man don't know, like more just like my friends, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, just getting people's response and that to man's music. And it weren't even like the big tunes that are out now, like, it was like old stuff that man made, like just beats in general. Yeah, like seeing people's reactions to my music is a good feeling if I was so that's when I was like, yeah, I think I could do this. Like, you always get your friends and that that's like oh you're hard and that but until you see like people's reactions to your actual music like, that's what made me proper take it seriously. You know? I like the feeling of it so my first big placement was Bad Habits. Bad Habits was um one of the tunes that I met with bass when I linked up with bass man and, uh, yeah, like it shot up quick. I'm not gonna lie, cause I didn't even expect the song to do well. Like it was just one of them songs that man made. It was a good, it was a good vibe, and like, but it shot up quick, like it hit a mill in like a month or something. Like that. So yeah, that was the first. Mediocre is definitely one of them because that's the first song that man proper made with Huncho. Um, Bad habits as well and come up maybe. Birds is there now because of the way we switched the sound. But like, come up was a special moment, fam. Because I haven't even seen people react to Birds yet. Come up, man, seen that. Like, I went to the shows and that, like, and I've seen people mosh to the tune. And, like, so that's probably my favorite one out of all the places. Like, my relationship with him, do you know what it was? It wasn't even a music thing, funny enough. Like, I went to college with his cousin, you know? and like, uh, I remember he used to tell me like, oh, my cousin does music and, that. and I was new into music as well. So I was trying to find my sound and stuff like that. And then he kind of done music as well. And then we just linked up when the time was right. You get, like, it wasn't a thing where like, we just linked up like on a random thing. It was actually family, it was before music. So I didn't even know him through music. You know what I'm saying? So that's not yeah, UK producers that man will work with. Like I've worked with a couple that man's wanted to work with already. Do you get it? like I work with Jay Youngs, like he's hard producer. Um, Gotti, you don't know Gotti already. Like, I'm, there's another producer, maybe someone that's different to my sound. Like, do you get? It? I don't. I want to kind of mix sounds. So like someone like Wild Boy Ace, for example. Like, I'd like to make a beat with him. Five as well. I'd like to make a beat with Five. Um, I don't really know any other producers like that. You know. I'm not gonna lie, you can't. If I was talking with any international producer, my whole work with one guy called OZ, sick producer from Switzerland, but like he's blown in America, like he makes beats for like Meek Mill, um, Chris Brown, like, he just done Tory Lanez's new thing as well. He's hard. Top three people I like to work with from the UK is um, RA. Like, I grew up listening to him like, from back in the day and like, I think he's hard, he's having a good comeback as well. Jay Huss, definitely, and Mo Stack probably. Yeah, I think we can make a bang on. Yeah, the main person I'd like to work with from like outside the UK is probably Future. So Future is definitely like the main guy. Everyone that does chat would like to work with Future, do you get it? So he's probably the main. Any advice I'd give to any producer is don't give up. Like, whatever you're doing, no matter what situation you're in, like you can make it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, man came from just making beats in the bedroom. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? And even like beats like mediocre and like, man made that in my room. Do you get? And now it's got millions of views and streams. So yeah, man, just don't give up. Stick to what you're doing, and hopefully you get me a work out for you. How I started the beat for Come Up Now. Like super basic, it's only like what one, two, three, four, five, six layers of the beat. Um, 
obviously it's very piano driven and I'll show you how I started the piano very simple <laughs> too complex in it like, I just started it like that but then I added like some effects to it to like, kind of give it like a wavy feel like some phases and stuff and then um, to go with like the way I make beats I make the melodies first a lot of people like to do like the drums and that first to kind of get the bounce of the beat and stuff but I like to kind of get the melodies and then work around that in it so the second thing I did was again another basic just whistle flute type of thing very simple and um, nothing complicated like that's I feel like that's just the way to make beats man sometimes less is more and depending on the artist as well like because of the type of vocals that Hancho has like it's very filling so the way his vocals are like they're very filling and stuff so he kind of just filled up the beat like even the way he attacked the beat type thing like he didn't really he didn't like do his usual type thing he kind of just barred the whole way through so so those are, I think those are the only two like actual sounds that man put in the beat. It weren't really anything else. Everything else is kind of just like percussion and drums. And then um, I've got this thing here, which is like some sort of like, I don't know what it is. But it's this. It just plays through the verses and stuff. So that it just don't feel too empty. And then I did some claps and some rims just to get a bounce. Super basic, you know what I'm trying to say? And the fifth pattern, I've got the drums. Had to lay it with the kicks as well just to give it an extra punch. Like, again, with my 808s, like, I don't like to do too much. I kind of like, I like to let the beat kind of breathe so that it kind of gives the artist. Sometimes if you do too much on the beat, the artist just doesn't know what to do with it. So I like to keep it pretty basic. And then the hi hats. Yeah, and that's literally it. That's the come up beat. But the way we structured it is we like to do this thing where we bring in the drop where it's just like completely random. Um just for effect really like so when I play the beat. <laughs> Shout out Mixtape Madness for having me um, look out for my new shit.